one and hearing with another 1999 Star Wars set review for Throwback Thursday, and this one is on the X-Wing Fighter and Gungan sub. So I'll find the large booklets. See the Lego system logos and the older Star Wars logos and everything else. And let me there's something enter in these booklets, like in the Synth Infiltrator one. There's a couple of crazy alternate builds. And, and this was a neat thing they did with the larger sets. And there's a neat crash landing onto Dagobah. And then a little dog chip. And the numbers that there are, which point out to the alternate builds here. Like this one, a couple little speeders and a walkie talkie or something. And then this one. Is getting out a lightsaber and then the walker coming in and then some crap. And then this there's which the lightsaber hilt and then some kind of walker. I'm like, really? A two legged walker built out of an X Wing? That's just kind of great. It's a mind blowing. And then it's all different craft. All kinds of possibilities you can make with this. And then on to with Gung and Sub one. If it comes into focus. Okay. And on the back of it, a couple other ultimate guns. And then also got like a comics rip of it. And there's a number, some numbers that tied to the alternate builds. Like this one, some uh, scuba mask, and also a couple of little, little subs. And then yeah, and there's a couple more as well. And then a little life raft. And then some big kind of fish. So it's kind of great to see how they did like that. Just about the same version as shown in some other 1999 sets, but like no back printing, no back face printing, which is common of old mini figures. But also shown in the uh, Jedi Defense 2 set in 2002. And next up, Jedi Weird Al, or rather, uh, young Obi Wan Kenobi. But you can work use it for a uh, mock of the Weird Owls, the saga begins. And if it decides to focus. Come on, focus. And then there we go. You can see torso printer, which kind of the same as Qui Gon's, but a little different. But also some differences, but no back torso print or face print, which also common of older mini figures, but also with the blue lightsaber, because in the Phantom Menace has a blue one. And lastly, for the Gungan subs mini figs, is a Jar Jar Bink. But also the same version in some of the shown in some of the other 1999 sets.
but no back printing as well, but, and not at all any printing on his headpiece, which they didn't do until 2011. So, and first off, for the mini figs included in the X-Wing set is the early Luke Skywalker, who of which, as of now, in the 20th anniversary of on coming out soon, is will have this exact print uh, and helmet piece and all. But, and, of course, uh, we'll have some back printing saying 20th anniversary. So. And that helmet piece of which, well detailed at the time. Next up, the next up is is a big dark lighter, and also here's where it's look if it didn't focus before, and similar torso print to Luke, and also different head print or helmet print. Also well detailed at the time, and also interesting face print, but no back face print or torso print. And again, and next up is a rebel technician, who is which also kind on in some of the 99-2000 sets. Throws some brills. And last up is the original R2D2. Wow. For when he had the all white head with some barely much of silver print compared, and then until he later went to uh, gray head pieces. And also there's the top of the head piece, and also the printing there. I don't know if you can notice in this video is that it's kind of crooked a bit, like some other uh, astromech droid matrix. It's been, yeah, that is about it with mini things. And now move on to the little side builds included with the sets. Is this one included with the Gungan sub? Which, as you can see, quite basic, just a lot of uh, one by two bricks and cones with the seaweed pieces on them. Be some rocky grotto area of the oceans of Naboo. And inside of which is a cup is the clam and sea star, which aren't very common. But also one of the highlights is a little stingray piece, which doesn't get used very often. But also. Wonder why I'm not sure why it's included in this set when it could have been in something else from the like maybe another Kadu or something, but whatever. And then with the X Wing 
we got to do this little, uh, little uh, cargo belt thing. There's a couple of clear cones to be the little guide sticks. And also got a couple of levers so your rebel technician can stand on it and control it. And the back area, which a couple slopes and also two, uh, and also a whole bunch of tools, which were present at the time. And how it does that is with the little reverse uh, pieces, which we kind of sometimes do on bow back ships and all. Uh, and that is about it with that side build. And first of all, for the main ships, of which is the Gungan Sub. See, uh, kind of alright design for it. Well, at least it's all using jagged slopes rather than the curved slopes which the 2012 version had. And also large blue anchor, just like the 2012 version. And also, unlike the 2012 version, is these pieces are all four separate pieces rather than one big large piece. Oh, whoops. Came loose. And as for the cockpit, so it, which all open up, well, these two open up this way, and then this one opens up the other way. So enough space to just fit just a single main thing into it. Like you can put Qui-Gon Jin in that one. Also put their lightsaber just on the side like that. And then you can put Obi-Wan in this one here. And I put his lightsaber there as well. So sometimes their capes can kind of get in the way. And then put Jar Jar Binks in this one. And then you can close them up all like so. But other than but how in the movie and the video which fit all in the front one rather than to which which they also achieved in the 2012 version. But also to show off. I have a couple of printed pieces in there, and also in there, with those ones that were from the Joy Fire set, and also that one that has appeared in a lot of sets as well. And also what this version has, or sort of like what the 2012 version also has is, you can take that off, and also Take that, pull all that off, and then uh, open it, and get this little uh, jet thing. And if you have, or actually this thing as well, which if you have, well, this also includes some uh, trans neon orange propellers, but kind of lost them before this review. But you can attach them to the front part of which. Whereas with the 2012 version, you just it's just only the back part that rips off. And let me get that off there. And get this side as well. Wing fighter. Uh, quite good and faithful for its time. Like as you can see, it's like all gray and tannish color scheme. Whereas in later versions, they went on to all white. And of course, the orange and black one for the Force Awakens and all. Like got uh, a lot of these cylinder pieces, which were from classic space sets. And the engines of which just a lot of cylinder pieces. 
those rather than adding combs to them as well. And instead of turning a gear or something, you just X out the wings yourself, which is, of course, what to expect from these older sets. Oh, sorry, it can kind of come loose sometimes. Also, in this little hatch is where you can store Luke's lightsaber on it, and two of these pieces, which will also be on the uh, Y-Wing set. And you wonder what those little jumpers are for? Is where you can put R2-D2, similar to that of these uh, Nabu Fighters. Piece. See a couple more tile pieces, but also a jagged slope that has a print of the uh, uh, Death Star Trench. And you can, of course, put your Luke Skywalker mini in it as well. Oh, whoops. And in the upper nose area, you can flip open and so you can like store something. In it. Well, like also Luke's lightsaber, but unless if it gets wedged in there, which probably should have had a tile put in there as well. But whatever. But whereas to make it in full flight mode, detach this and detach this, rather than let it fold up like the other versions. So now, let me get these out and call the over. So my overall verdict on these is that these are which kind of pretty cool 1999 Star Wars sets. Like, first and only other version of the Gung and Sub, and aside from the 2012 versions of these. And will they, uh, if LEGO sees this video, please redo the Gung and Sub again. It would be great. And also, got a good selection of me things and going in all of these. But also, Plenty of alternate builds that you can figure out how to do, as in shown in the comics and the booklets. And yeah, hope you all had some good memories of these from back in the day. And yeah, and that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.